Yo. Hello. And welcome to Scientist Plays Fallout New Vegas Edition. As you can see, you have chosen the perfect character for which to lead you through the wasteland. Hello. I'm Kyle. Many of you may know me from my day job where I explore and explain everything underneath the stars and beyond. Many of you I know are coming straight from the office hours live stream, and I appreciate it. But for all of you who have never been in here before, this is Scientist Place on the Kyle Hill Gaming Channel, where we attempt to play some of your favorite games of all time, new games, old games, sci-fi games, and do what you find nowhere else on the internet, and that is stream while learning science stuff from this guy. That's right. It's the only place where you will learn, laugh, and love <laughs> all in the same stream. For the next two hours or so, depends on if we actually finish what we want to finish today, for the next two hours or so, we will be making our way through a DLC in Fallout New Vegas I've never played before, and unbeknownst to me, it is perfect. It's filled with lasers, robotic scorpions, evil scientists in with brains in their jars. Yep. And this is, I think, our sixth excursion into the wasteland. So if you want to join us, you're going to have to first see what we're working with. Welcome to the facility command center. Behind me, semi-broken screen. 275-inch monitors for which to... Wait, I know the problem. <laughs> Behind me, 275-inch monitors to see what you say and what games we play in front of me. The best peripherals in the biz, even a PS6. From the Gaming Command Center, we will take on Fallout New Vegas. Won't we? If I just, uh, if you're just joining us for one of these scientist plays, when well, last we left off, we're in the Old World Blues, almost said New World, Old World Blues DLC, and the basic gist is that all of our vital organs have been removed and replaced with robotic parts, and we're now on a mission to help a bunch of brains in a jar that work in a <laughs> crater for the advancement of science, we're helping them locate three different technologies that we can use to topple the evil brain Dr. Mobius. In the last stream, we accumulated those last technologies. We can't leave, so I have crappy armor, but I have some pretty sick weaponry. So I think today is the time to take on Dr. Mobius. And if we do that, the next thing we will do is I will come to you back here at the facility to see what is the next game we play at Scientist Place because it's all about this, right? So, who's in chat today? Uh, Daryl Grant, Mar, The Wanderer, Crafty, thank you for being here. Simon, Kiha, Geely, Backward Skeptic. Don't... Uh, Titanfall 2, Willie is on the list. Ben, Noah E, welcome, welcome. Mice in Attic. Mendrix. Kyle Love from Sierra Leone, says Morris, TJ, he rolled over. He rolled over. Christian Stud Trucker. Manliest name in the business. Want some sodium, says John Woodring. No, pure sodium would explode in my mouth. Mr. Bot, welcome. Everyone, if this is your first time, second time, I don't care. It's science time. Oh! Let's get on our classic gaming gear. I think we're good. Hey, Kyle, how's it going? Says Austin May. Oh, you're about to find out, baby. So we good? All right. So the next part of this excursion is to take on the Mobius, which is in the Forbidden Zone. Of which I have a, a few of those. But remember, as we're playing through this game, if there's something you want to know, if there's something that tickles my fancy, we will attempt to science time it 
so that we can learn while we play the only place on the internet where you can do that. Ah. <laughs> Let me show you what I'm working with here. I got a Proton Axe, which we talked about last time. I'm wearing... I'm wearing a, a health-regenerating, weird, orbiting hat. I'm also wearing a jumpsuit because all my other armor got destroyed by... Rattlesnake dogs. And I have a lot of sick-ass weapons. Rocket launchers. Finally got a sniper rifle, which I haven't gotten before. A big... Energy weapon, grenades, uh, incinerators, uh, proton. I heat. I I turned my fist hot. I upgraded. Oh, I'm just. I'm out of my mind. And Doctor Mobius is going to be out of his mind once I get him. Okay, so I can't do that. Uh, <laughs> how do I activate the next part of the quest? Oh, right, right. I gotta, I gotta tell them that I've gotten all the pieces. <laughs> Do you turn it hot with a toaster? I did. Let me just put this away. I gave the toaster other toasters as sacrifice. Oh, and last stream we also... So I got my cool, really cool stealth armor. But I don't have any other medium armor to repair it, so I can't use it right now. Infamous would interest Kyle to play a scientist place as Hail Hydra. Uh, Infamous Second Son is one of my favorite original PS4 games, or 5 games, 4. Um, I'd be amenable to that. But it's all going to come down to you when we vote. Did you retrieve the technologies yet? We yes. need them, as I have indicated. <laughs> of course, being a scientist... Of course, being scientist plays, we are playing a very sciencey. I have science maxed out at 100. So, Armor Wife is offline, says Mr. Bot. Oh, God, I love Armor Wife so much. I just don't want her to break. So, she's she's not on right now. Why, yes. We are filled with yes. the knowledge you speak of. So much science. If you wish to know more, simply ask the others. They yes. can help you. Mm, yes. Mm, get all the science. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Uh... That glowing red scar, that laser lobotomy canyon maze carved in the landscape, as if by some child. Thank you, Christian. It is Mobius the five. fortress. From that hemorrhoidal fissure, he oh, sends geez. his amazing robo scorpions to terrify and irritate us. What? You did? I did. Your survival, let alone success, barely registered in my projections. Well, thanks. Now, all I need to do is check my transmission data bank. Oh, yes, there's the schematics. Just well, how truthful, said. yes, yes. How truthful. Do these technologies have the information that you require? Yes. Hmm. Ah, uh, yes. Hmm, yes, hmm. What? No. I mean, yes. You just need to analyze the You don't know. You don't know what these are, do you? You don't even know what these are. I know how these technologies work. Of course I know. No, you don't. If you remember, we described them in clearly abstract, contradictory statements before. <laughs> Why would we do that if we on how to use them? Yes. So let me... Mm, yes, hmm, mm. Let me tell. We can use our science. Look, the antenna focuses brainwave patterns, okay? Yes, that's what I believe I said. And the suit's cardiac regulator, the sonic frequency is a spinal vibrator? I've got it. The cardiac regulator in the suit, the antenna for brain waves, and the sonic frequency for the vertebral nerves. Uh, yeah? I'm thinking. This is all very complicated. John, Let me hello? check something. Captain Dagen, hello? Of course. I have it. The override sequence to open the Forbidden Zone door is, well, not hidden. It's actually right there, behind the programming equivalent of coffee stains. It's embedded in what seems to be recursive code. 
It's badly commented there and there. Oh, and all pointers. Very sloppy, Moby. You see, using the antenna to boost the emitter's sonic frequency and the stealth suit to bypass the forbidden zone lock. Oh, uh, so now I have to yes, put uh, armor wife back on. Work. Was that my plan? Don't these items seem more biologically focused than that, though? Biological. I mean, technically, these items could all be used to put you back together once you had your brain. But for now, <laughs> they can be used in the name of aggression. Yes. The door should be unsealed. Now. In and that message is science. Yes. Deliver this message, and Big Mountain shall be freed from Mobius's reign of terror. Tactical and bucket already hammered. Now, Welcome. That's your cue. How long would it take to morb during Moby Morbian time? Did you guys see my tweet um, that I was on a plane and a guy in front of me watched um, Morbi Morbius once and then he watched it again at half speed? What an absolute psychopath. <laughs> okay, so I don't want to put my st stealth suit back on because I don't want her to break, but I do love her. So Kyle's a brainless cyborg? <laughs> Define brainless. <laughs> Um, so let's see, I don't want to, I just want to, I, I can quickly, I can quickly check whether or not I can get in. Actually, you know what? Be efficient, Kyle. I will grab her, and if I need her, I will equip her and then unequip her. It's not like I haven't tried to get along with her. Lord knows I have. She's just such... Calm down. Oh, I do have combat armor. Oh, I didn't even see that. Take that, take that. Uh, I'm gonna take that. I'm going to use... Right, repair this with the combat armor just a little bit. And I'm gonna take her with me if I need her. And if there's any uh, medium armor in the forbidden zone, then I can, I can use that to repair. What's your preferred way of playing Fallout? I check literally everything and do literally every side quest. But I'm playing this for you. Ah! To be attacked by Dr. This um, this proton X does extra damage to robots, and so <laughs> I've just been hammering these things because again, I don't have good armor here. I can't leave the DLC yet. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Oh no! Oh! Oh no! What? Holy crap. Drink some blood. That'll help. Okay, so I'm... This isn't... Oh, and I can fill water now. Okay, so this isn't great. So I'm gonna have to do some serious damage really quick. So what should I do? Um, that thing... Oh, that thing increased my rads, right. Let's, um... Mm hmm Ah! Oh, that is a lot of radiation. Ah! Oh, crap! Um... Right away. One, two, three, four, five, five, five. Drink some scotch. Just kidding. Take a stimmy. Um... Oh, do I have any pulse stuff? No. Oh, I do. Hit! We've been waiting for this! Did you upgrade the sound gun? I did. Land crab? No. Wait, are all crabs and scorpions at all... Uh, are crabs and scorpions at all related? No. Hit! I'm only wearing a jumpsuit! Go for it. Oh, right in the face! Okay. So I need to re-equip. I mean, I could get up in its up in his uh, up in his face, but um, what's the DPS on this bad boy? Yeah. Ooh, I got more missiles. Hit. 
Crap! Oh, crap! This thing's annihilating me. Radiation and limbs. Uh, doctor's back. Whoop. Items. Bam, bam. Drink all the cola! Yes! He'll never be able to defeat me when I'm... more... colaed out than a five-year-old playing Fortnite. Super Scorp Ion, says Kiha. Nailed it. Ooh, that radiation's bad, but... Bye-bye! One more. Bye-bye. Oh, I could have disabled it? I wonder how I could have done that. Just go up to it? <laughs> yes. 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 Got him! Okay, so what I'm gonna do quickly... Red. Repair. Don't need to. Uh... Drop. Uh... Oh, right. Repair. Repair. Yeah. Bam. I have radiation poisoning. Let's check out these little areas, shall we? Time to work on crossbreeding them, I suppose. Still... Still check on a terminal. What? Skill check on a terminal. Is that what you said? Oh. I could have just... Oh. I could have turned off the big scorpion if I ran away. Probably easier than getting irradiated in the face a couple times, huh? I just wasted a lot of rataways doing that. I mean, I could reload. Chat, should I reload? Should I reload and shut it down? Ah! Uh... Should I reload and shut it down, or we just keep going? I feel like we just keep moving, huh? Who cares? Well, there I got my rataway back. <laughs> Wrong way. Everyone said, yeah, yeah, you're done. That's from the giant score. But hey, stream, love the Kyle says, some age Templar. What a weird name. What a weird name and probably weird person. Okay, okay. Focus, 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 focus. Gotta get to 69 likes, says Andre Graca. If there's more than 69 of you watching and there aren't 69 likes, come on now. If you like what we're doing here in Scientist Plays and you want me to keep doing more of this kind of stuff, let me know, baby. I can read so fast. Wait, could I have just, like, turned something off, or? No, not there, I guess. Shut up and take my like. Well, that like count just jumps, says Nick. I know, it's like if you tell people to do stuff, they might just do it. Incredible. Oh, I could have unleashed drones on it, probably. Oh, I did this, like, the worst way possible. I could have been all sciencey about this. I could have unleashed robots and other assorted um, robots and and turned it off. And and but instead I went the chat emergency term. Instead I went the Giga Chad way, and I said, "Let how about you meet my good friend, Mrs. Annabelle." Light count went from 45 to 95. That's what I'm talking about. Come on. Let me in there. Yep, and I got my right away back. It's fine. It's fine. Boom, 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 boom. Sometimes I hit that X too fast. Oh, remind me, I gotta take empty bottles I can refill as well. Now, Kyle, you might be saying to yourself, do you need to make a sound every single time you pick something up? No. I don't. Have I already forgotten where I was in relation to the other rooms in the... There we go. 
G. Lee says, I'm doing my part. Do your part. Do your bit. Look, I don't ask much of you. I just ask for your time and your money and your interest. And your attention. That's not all that much. So, I'm gonna guess the main one overlooking was the shutdown. Yeah. Damn. I could have been all sciencey and cool about it. Hacked the pl hacked into the system. Oh, come on, really? I gotta... Oh, yeah, I could have shot at it from here with the security turrets. Aw. Hit! Don't break your legs. Still have radiation poisoning. Let's see. What does the game say radiation poisoning does to me, Chad? Let's see. Well rested. Strength, strength. Health, regeneration. Minor radiation poisoning. Endurance, minus one. Now, why does... Why is radiation... What is radiation poisoning? Radiation poisoning is taking enough damage, cellular damage, from ionizing radiation such that your body breaks down in specific ways. So, um, there are two kinds of radiation exposures. It's chronic, which is long-term, and there's acute, which is short-term. Uh, both of those can be low or high. Um, minor radiation poisoning comes along with symptoms like headaches, disorientation, vomiting, diarrhea. Why? Because that radiation may be destroying the cells, the fast dividing cells in your stomach lining. Vomiting, diarrhea, etc. Right? High or, or heavy extreme radiation poisoning damages your cellular infrastructure so much that your organs can just fail. Your skin just dies off and your organs shut down. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like reverse cancer. And it can also give you cancer. Ugh. Let me in. Give me that right away. Give me that wine. I'm going to drink it on stream. See, emergency shutdown right there. Ugh. Ugh, could have been so cool. Let's take some of that. Let's get rid of this radiation poisoning. Now, we talked about this last stream, but the removal of radiation could indeed happen with... Yeah, give me that booze. With something like that. Where... Oh, I could have just... Um, where if you are poisoned... That's why radon spas are so great. Used to be a thing. Nightshade says, I've witnessed acute radiation burns personally, and it's absolutely terrible what radiation does to the body. Yeah, I know. I know. Trust me, I know. Um, but if you have lingering um, fission products in your body, yeah, give me another one to repair that, which is to say you have, um, you know, cesium-137 and other things that like to bind with tissues in your body, they can stay in your body, and they don't get excreted in the urine. Damn it. And if they don't get excreted, they stay in your body to continuously irradiate the insides of your body, which is bad. So, for some kinds of radiation poisoning, where there are lingering, you haven't already been uh, acutely irradiated and your organs aren't already failing, you can remove some of those fission products by giving them something else to latch onto. And if that's in the juice in a bag that you put in an IV and it goes through your blood and your system and stuff like that, and then you excrete the stuff that the radiation, uh, radioactive materials bind it to, then your body can excrete it. You can remove some of the effects of that radiation. Uh, we used a chemical called Prussian Blue to remove some of the internally uh, deposited cesium-137 after the Goiânia incident in Brazil. Thank you, Parm, for the sub. The forbid- I'm not even in the forbidden zone yet. 
Uh, let's change my quest because it's not even tra- Oh, it is. Confront Dr. Mobius. Okay, I'm gonna smack your friend. Oh. Oh, wait. This is just his, his spot. Oh, was that all that was protecting you, bro? Because this is gonna be a short stream. <laughs> hey, come back here. Wait. Let me just take all your bullets, just in case. <laughs> not even looking. Chat, I'm not even looking. I'm doing this by feel. I'm doing it by feel alone. Not only am I sensitive, I'm sensitive. Where are... Where, where'd, where'd you... Where'd you go? Where, where, where are you? Oh, you were right next to me. I did it by feel, chat. Oh, hello. Uh, you are there, aren't you? Forgive my confusion. So hard. Can't wait for you to see the reaction to your characters in this room. Oh yeah. To tell these days, uh, you seem familiar somehow. I'm guessing uh, you're here for your brain, perhaps. You want it's your little just, brain? A uh, little hard to see you. Uh, can you walk into my left? Yeah, right, FOV cool. Field of vision. Ah, that's it. I've defeated your giant robo scorpion. Is that better? Depth perception is a problem with this old monitor of mine. It went black a while ago. How does binocular vision that we have give you depth perception? Well, it's because the images are combined in your brain and they are slightly offset. And by having these images slightly offset, you can tell, uh, or you can you can infer distance in your mind rather than having just a 2D image. You get a 3D representation of the world around you, which is an illusion, but don't, let's not get into that. <laughs> That's old age for you. Should look at getting the visual nerves reattached. It's just that the right eye would see the wrong things. <laughs> the flying tortoises ooh, were the worst. Why would you... would you care for a mentat? Uh, I'll save it for later. I have all sorts of amazingly science-horrific thoughts and ideas when those chalky tablets are zipping through my bio jet. I'm gonna use science-horrific. Gonna use that going oh, forward. I forget them all not long after the... Alright, so what are we doing? I had to start using the dome floor and walls here to inscribe equations. Although I've somewhat lost track of where they start and end. Really? That implies preconceived notions, theories, and a hypothesis about this meeting? Please extrapolate. What was I... Uh... After all, it might be worth a cognitive realignment if you're theoret... You were supposed to be, uh... Oh, wait, so I don't get to answer that question? variety of raisins you're something of a homily the uh, anomaly what you're, you're really quite special and not you, you, see, you doing all right you are the most successful brain extraction experiment ever performed here at big mountain a victim of your own success as it were if you were to go back with what your brain knows about the procedure well your brain could be popped back in and you could walk right out <laughs> of here. Can't have brains moving around of their own volition. No, nah, that's crazy. Exactly. I, can I... Can I just get my... Wait. No oh, curiosity. Ooh, I can fix your monitor, buddy, if you want. The ghosts aren't real? No. Much. No ghosts are real. Changes everything. Why, I can save my Unpossibility, my I like guest. that. The receptor is there. And the side switching wobbly bob it just Yes. Oh. Oh yes. No brother. No 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 uh, uh, no worries. No, oh, I was probably <laughs> tripping hard, hard on, on side though. I sent that had to work myself up to it. Not usually violent, except when I am. So many chems, such varieties. Whenever I take me 
As for the psycho, sometimes get the chem dispositor. So, so this evil Doctor Mo Mobius is just a, just a old hippie. Or he's in my tank. I find. I I also think think things are curious. Well, every scientist needs an army. That's what I keep Mine saying. After these rather large scorpions kept coming in from the dessert, <laughs> like poisonous frosting. Okay, he's crazy. Got it. How scary, I thought. But they have some... Then I thought, what if they shot energy bolt? Then <laughs> I thought about custard. Okay, you're crazy. Sounds like you built the robot scorpions. Issue threats to the... Th yeah. Did I? <laughs> Maybe I did. Can't have them leaving. Is some reason for it? Ethics or uh, mm, conscience? It, you and con your conscience. brain are quite alike. I'm sure it knows the raisins better than I do. <laughs> if anyone has good raisins, it's me. Everything you've told me doesn't add up. Your plan, even your name. Doctor Mobius. Rather catchy, isn't it? It's my name. Am I over with the old one. names as real as you or I. Although I believe your brain expressed similar incredulity at the nature of such an appellation. Fortap says not so as scary as a phalanx of Kevin's. Too many That's true. Old world science fiction movies, it said. I believe it meant me. I must admit I have a vulnerability for holotape fantasies of planets and robots. Like the think tank, we were all reprogrammed to forget them, take on new names. It enforces the recursion loop and our perception. Wait, so what's go what's actually going on here? Only way we can find out, of course, is with science. Now, trap is a rather harsh word, like excrement. Not an inappropriate word, but still rather harsh. I didn't read what, what it said. Yes, I did. Uh, it takes some liberties with their programming. It's all right, they don't remember. I certainly didn't until you said trap, and then I said excrement, and then... <laughs> The radar fence to keep the think tank hemmed in wasn't really enough. Hemmed in, yes. They keep testing things. They would have found a way to disarm it. I suspect I have Plan 9s in place, but I may have coded myself to forget them, just in case. They're probably very dangerous, lethal, or worse. So I had to do something else to keep them occupied here. Or as you like to say, trapped. No oh, I'm using my intelligence. Klein. Klein bottle. Dr. Klein. Klein bottle. Mobius. Mobius strip. Zeros. A circle. Eights. It's an infinity symbol. They're all loops. I get it. Oh, you figured it out. Dr. O, which is actually not his real name multiplied, since you can't multiply his real name in the first place. Ouroboros, Klein, they have all forgotten themselves. Ouroboros, the snake eating its tail in a loop. And not only themselves, but the world, sense of time and history. All that is left is what's here. I reprogrammed their chronometers, geometers, and cartography programs. This hmm. is now their world, here, Big Mountain. I'm not a supervillain, Buster. It was a merciful lobotomy, really, thinking back. They were my friends, but sometimes they would take things too far. And the world isn't ready for that kind of too far thing taking. That's my wait. So, so they were all scientists at this big mountain doing crazy Manhattan Project kind of stuff, and he thought his friends were gonna take things too far. So he trapped them here and reprogrammed them so they would just stay here in a forever state of just trying to 
escape this evil scientist that he created as a way to keep them in here and he's just a crazy old hippie? Minor detail. I said the word right. You did not. Really? It is so unlikely to make an error in anything I do. If you lobotomize the think tank, yeah, why continuously terrorize them then? Well, it's simple. Despite their many failings, they are rather bright. They are the think tank think for, for a reason. reason. <laughs> that I didn't change. Without something to distract them, make them afraid, mm. they would simply deduce what had happened. And when, <laughs> when they, they start, start deucing it up. It up. <laughs> then you came along, the final variable solved. They saw that their world was larger than they perceived. Mm. Bacteria finally able to see its host. Heidi, welcome. There have been other visitors to make them doubt their perceptions, but you are the one who dialed back their monitor. Okay, so I like this story in that it's literally about brains in a jar having the brains in a jar thought experiment. So famously, the, the brain in a vat thought experiment or the, the, the evil demon thought experiment is what, how can you trust your own perceptions? What if all of it, you're just a brain in a jar somewhere and an evil scientist is feeding in electrical information to give you a sense of the world. It's like the thought experiment that the Matrix relies on. So the fact that they... All of these brains in a jar are having the same experience of that experiment as brains in a jar. Is pretty clever. I like that. Micro magnifiers. You were irrefutable proof that there was a world outside. And then there was the whole brain fiasco, which forced me to take steps. See, your brain had a special kind of uh, a wrinkle, a uniquity. A uniquity. This guy has changes science words just like I do. I like this. To try. The only wrinkle in my brain is the one the bullet made going into my brain pan when Benny shot me ring a ding ding. Oh, this all relates back to the very beginning of New Vegas. Yes, very good. I should have Mentats in just you instead of the other way around. Mm -hmm. In any event, you showed up at the think tank, and because you had suffered a cranial injury in mm. just the right place, yeah. bullets in the head are usually much more fatal. And yours <laughs> was a light case of bullet head itis. <laughs> but it Itis is the uh suffix that use for medical terms when it means some sort of inflammation it was enough for the auto dock in the sink to change its programming to fix the problem and the brain extraction technology for once worked that gave the think tank the knowledge its brains shouldn't uh, couldn't she couldn't possess. She couldn't. With that knowledge, the procedure can be reversed. If they obtain that procedural data, they can use it to mush and modify their cranial selves into hosts to slip past the radar fence. Can't have I'm that. Sure of it. And once they're off the reservation. Use more intelligence. Klein said you had the idea to get the three technologies after your broadcast. I consider coincidence to be profanity. <laughs> Along with the words astrology, herbal tea, and luck. I so agree. watch it, potty mouth. My threat broadcast is designed to instill and install fear. Fear. And along with the emotional download, other data rides the fear carrier wave. It prompted them to focus on retrieving those technologies and bring them to a... 
And That's why the brains didn't know what any of those technologies language. did. All those technologies are needed to put a brain, uh, your brain. Oh, that means my plan is a total <laughs> failure. Oops. That is unfortunate. Oh, well, at least I tried. <laughs> The X2 antenna can be used to focus your... Yeah, I know and that. The sonic sound wave projecto emitter was never in... In short, brains, a heart, and courage. Spine. I think there was a story once where a band of murderous thugs... Going along killing witches. Things. They had them all the time in the story. Didn't stop them from murdering to get them. Poor witches. And it won't stop the think tank either. Okay, I don't want to kill him. This guy seems kind of harmless. Uh, so let me see if there's another, um... Now, that seems to be rather hormonal of you. Hey, calm down. Your brain is here, safe with me. We chat over mentats. <laughs> Little mentats. Do you? You seem fine without it. And does it even want to go back with you? Maybe you should ask it. It's quite independent. Has all manner of opinions. So is this a scientific retelling of The Wizard of Oz? I didn't think about that. Looks like it is. Tell you what. I'll leave it up to your brain. If it wants to go, then fine. If not... Well, you should respect its wishes. Fleazy says, James Webb and the universe brought me here. Fleazy, welcome. We game here as well at the facility. But we also have science time while we do so. Um, the, this, this kind of idea of the separation between yourself and your brain also kind of gets at another philosophical idea, which is called dualism. And dualism, philosophically is the stance or belief that you, as your physical sense and, and what you feel like, who you are, is separate from your body. So your body is a, is a material thing, but your essence, your soul, your whatever you want to call it, what makes you, you, is different. Um, and so this is kind of getting at that dualistic sense of the world where, oh, let's see what your brain has to say. But in a... Um, more uh, scientifically grounded philosophical view, there is just your brain. You are what the brain does. It's not the only thing the brain does, but the mind is what the brain does, and it's kind of getting at that. My body is just a biological mech suit. This is infuriated sloth. Well, you are also your body. You know what I mean? Indeed. The, uh... Equations on the floor? Let's check them out. Okay, so I can ask my brain. I don't know what I just triggered there. Neutrons the neutrons connected to the meson. The meson's connected to the proton. And those are the hadrons that we know about, plus other things like quarks and shit. Um, the glove of Mobius. Where's the equations? I want to see them. I want to see them. I want to see if they're sciencey. Does my brain want it? Jeez. Christmas. Oh. It's my brain, chat. It's my brain. Gross. Dragged themselves in out of the wasteland. Is that and how I sound? Where have we been? Hmm? Crawling through pits of radioactive muck again? Is that what I. I... <laughs> this is too weird. I, I'm out of here. Ah, lovely. Figure that out, have we? Is this me? Would you like a cookie? 
The cow just finished up the stream, says Canrex, now I'm here. Get in here! Epiphenomenalism is the answer, probably, says Jaden Booth, trying to sound like they went to college. We get it. <laughs> Why are you such a dick, dude? Well, that's a fine how do you do. Me, a, quote, dick, unquote, as if I'm the one responsible for the way you carry on gadding about the wastes. I'm not the one that... Wait, am, am I just Stewie? Is my brain just Stewie? Just clamber around this infested ancient folks or go charging off to New Vegas on missions of ill-conceived revenge. And have we forgotten who got us shot in the head and buried in a shallow grave? Hmm? Hmm? Do you think I enjoyed that little moment? Come on. <laughs> Peter. I most certainly am not. I'm the seat of all reason and logic in our little partnership. All those... I think it's time for a, a sexy that party. You, that sense of righteousness and that rush you get when you help someone. Do you know where those come from? Glands. Uh. <laughs> they come from glands. You, who controls the... the tyranny of your ape-like and primitive endocrine system. <laughs> I can see how foolish your motives are. Uh, what controls the... Yeah, that doesn't seem... I wish I had more medicine. It's like, that... That, that, uh... That didn't seem quite right. Well, maybe next time you hear me telling you that charging a knifekin with a pen knife is a <laughs> bad idea, you'll listen. Yeah, maybe. After the think tank extracted me from your skull, they fell to bickering amongst themselves. I'm sad to say we were quite forgotten about. Nerds and Non says, first time catching a gaming stream and possibly the first time commenting on any stream. Ooh, you never forget your first, Nerds and Nonsense. Welcome. To gain some leverage and had me spirited away to his dome. Hardly. Dr. Mobius keeps a close optical sensor on the goings-on. I don't know. I'm afraid the trauma of our separation rendered me quite insensate. I didn't come around until I was safely ensconced in this tank. I'm quite sure whatever he did was highly scientific, though. Adam Ray says 7 out of 10. For what? Well, as long as your curiosity is satisfied. Don't you want to get back in my head? I'm not going to lie to you. The prospect is definitely not that appealing. <laughs> Look at it from my perspective. Here I have peace, quiet, and safety. Well... Barring the odd rogue scorpion. Insconced. In your head, I've got poison, radiation, grisly injuries, and biological functions. Do you mm. know how much more you can get done when you're not constantly looking for places to urinate? It's quite yeah. a lot, I can tell you. I mean, you got a point. What about the good things? What about a cool breeze? Love? Food? I can see your... Okay, I get it. I look, look, I get it. What can I do to make this a compromise between me and me? If you want me back, we need to establish some ground rules. First, showers! Okay. Second, regular checkups. Regular, mind you, and from a reputable doctor. That Julie Farkas woman, for example, she's... All right, I'll talk to Farkas, man. Third, you need to listen to me more than your hormonal choir and genitalian orchestra. That is a fantastic sentence. Promise me that, and you've got a deal. Uh. Fine. Really? Hm. I didn't expect you to actually agree to that. I'm afraid <laughs> that was a bit of a bluff, really. I'm not going with you. Uh. Crafty, can we, uh. Can we remove the spammer in the chat, please? What, you'd rather just stay here, never leave in the tank of this goo or something? Well, certainly there might be some things I miss about being ambulatory. We have seen some incredible sights, haven't we? Jason Bright and his followers launched... One, one second. Thank you. Thank you, j -Bo. To the vast unknown. We saw that on stream together, chat. Helios 1 coming back online. We did that back Jason together, Chad. Bright and his followers launching into the wait, vast unknown. Wait, you just said that one. Helios wait. 1 coming back online. You just said that one. Jason Bright and oh his no, followers. what is happening? Oh no. 
Oh no, what's happening? What? What? I can't escape. Jason Bright and his Helios. Jason. Helios 1 coming. Jason. Helios. Jason. Helios. Jason. Helios. Jason. Helios 1. Jason Bright. Helios 1. Jason Bright and his. Helios 1. Damn it. Wait, wait. I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it. Okay, I'll get it. Jason Bright. Helios 1. Jason Bright. Helios 1. Jason Bright. Helios 1. Jason Bright. Oh, okay, wait. Okay, wait, wait. Just I'll get it. Okay. Helios. Jason Bright. Helios. Jason. Helios. Jason. Jason Bright and his followers launching into the vast. I'm stuck. One coming back online. All right. Jason Bright and his followers launching into the vast. I'll get it. Wait. Okay. Wait. I'll get it. Helios. Jason. Helios. Jason. Helios. Jason. Helios. Jason. 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 Helios. Jason. Jason. Helios. Jason Bright. Whoa, what the fuck am I doing? Chat. <laughs> Chat. Um. So, uh, so, um, I'm not really sure what's happening. I have broken the dialogue tree. <laughs> I think, yeah, I, I, I must have saved before. Oh, it's going to be like a, fuck. It's, uh, so I'm going to have to go all the way back and skip some dialogue. Um, so, yeah, I hope you're enjoying the stream. So what I'm going to do, uh, we've been playing for an hour. I know this is the autosave, but I have to go back. I have to play. Uh, I have to talk to Mobius again and go through all this. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, take this opportunity to take our short commercial break, and um, which will be five minutes or so. Then we'll have another hour of gameplay. Hopefully, we finish this and finish our excursion, and then at the end. You all will vote on the next game we play here at the facility. But uh, let me figure this out. Let me use the bathroom. And I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Because I'll know.
fish at. So, as you can see, we are back right where we're supposed to be. Let me just do my little socials. Back where we're supposed to be, if you're just joining us, this is Scientist Place, Fallout New Vegas. We're playing through the DLC Old World Blues, which I've never played before. We're trying to convince my brain to get back in my head. No, I don't have time to explain all that stuff. Um, I entered a recur... Did it enter a recursion loop on purpose because everything is a loop in this DLC? We entered a recursion loop of dialogue. I fixed that. So let's see if we can walk ourselves out of here with our brain. I don't know if I need my other organs, to be honest. I kind of like being a robo boy. But, um, yeah. After this, if we finish the DLC promptly, we will then do a poll in the chat with all of you. And I want to know what's the next game. We've already played 20 hours in Fallout New Vegas on stream. If you haven't um, seen the previous streams that led us up to this moment, you can go back to the gaming channel, check all of those out. They are there in their entirety. Hobo Sam with the five. I use Mid Journey AI to generate an image of you as Dr. Mobius. It, uh, I tried. Uh, it's I posted in Discord. Okay. Did you tag me? One of the benefits, chat, of, uh, one of the benefits, chat, of being at the facility is that you can tag me in real time, and I can see it and respond in real time. Oh my goodness, that looks awful. That looks kind of horrifying, huh? <laughs> Did I miss the stream, says Small Goodman? Well, considering that you are watching me live right now, I would say no. Um, I go with the big brain perk, spineless and heartless. <laughs> Just luck, never mind. Um, so, for the next hour or so, we're going to finish, try to finish our Fallout New Venture, and then, new, Fallout New Venture, and then uh, see what you want to do next, sciencing up as much as we can as we do so. Welcome back to Scientist Plays Follow New Vegas. And don't share that clip of me beatboxing with Todd Howard. He didn't make this one. So what, you'd rather just stay here, my brain? Well, certainly there might be some things I miss. Okay, let's let's see if we can get through this dialogue. Jason Bright and his followers launching into the vast unknown. Helios One coming back online. Jason oh Bright shit! Followers launching into the Helios One. J Apparently, you just hit a known bug. Choose different options. Jason Got it. I did save. Choose different options. Got it. All right. All right. Thanks, Obsidian. Well, well. All right. All right. All right. Uh, come on, that stuff's fun. Fun? Fun? Is tetanus fun? Mm? <laughs> no. Like what about sepsis, huh? I Enjoy mean... that, do we? No, sorry. The things you do with our body are suicidally dangerous, and if you could silence your glandular impulses, you would hear me screaming at you! <laughs> uh, there we go. I'm not going to lie to you. In your... Do you know? Okay, let's, uh, what about the smell? Let's pick a different dialogue option here. Overrated biological feedback. Believe me, you only feel that way because you've got all that meat. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? There we go. All right. Wait. Can't speech it. Maybe I'll just leave you here then. Oh, no. Please, don't leave me here in this nice, safe dome <laughs> where I have access to nutritive fluids and a fully indexed library. Please don't deprive me of being dragged through a landscape so bleak <laughs> it was actually improved by the end of the world. I don't know how I could bear it. You dick. Um... What happened to... Uh, 
uh, what would happen to me if I left you here? Hmm. Let me see. I suppose you'd continue on much as you are now, using that synthetic thinking machine to do the heavy lifting. Unless, of course, the batteries run out. But that seems unlikely. Uh, look what happened to Think Tank. You want that to happen to you, man? It's true. The brains here have experienced some degree of... Science check. Then surely you've taken into account the corrosive effects of long-term exposure to biogel. You know that, don't you, smart man? Of course I accounted for that! Do you think I'm so stupid? No, you're right. Stewie. Maintaining my current functionality will be harder than I thought. Of course you do. Hmm. <laughs> okay, wait. So I... Too bad. I've got arms. You don't. You're ca I can't choose this one. Well, okay. Chat, this might be stupid. I'm going to try this if you want. again because I've chosen different things. Well, certainly there might be some things like Jason Bright and his followers launching into the vast unknown. Helios 1 coming back online. Jason Damn it! Bright Obsidian, you are ruining my stream right now. I don't. I want to. I don't want to be a, a a mean guy to my own brain. Well, so I don't want to. All right. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Uh. But. Well. Choose different things. Choose different things. Uh. Uh, too bad. I've got arms. You don't. Come on with me. I can see there's going to be no reasoning with you at all, is there? I'm nothing more than a slave to your deranged glandular whims. Okay. Then... Yeah, so... Yeah, so, so uh... Barring the unlikely event that I evolve some sort of rocket-propelled locomotion, <laughs> I will be here. What? <laughs> Wait, so... Well, there's a lot of crap in here, huh? Ooh. Each one of these doors has a thing. I, how do I, um, get through this, chat? Retrieve your brain. Can I just... Can I just smash this thing open and take it? <laughs> Probably sub suboptimal, right? Ah, the meat has returned. Lovely. That's what, that's what I say when Arya comes home. Well, Kyle, this is the first stream I heard you cuss in. Look, you saw what happened to me. I went a little crazy, alright? I apologize. I'm not... Oh. I think I have to... Uh... I don't think I can get pa I don't think I can get past this. I'm not entirely sure. I suppose there's a chance that the reintegration would create some improved synergy between us. What form that might take though, I cannot say. Let's try it out, baby. Ooh, crawl back in there. Are <laughs> you mad? I don't know where you've been. For all I know, you're riddled with disease or packing one of those... Peter, you're riddled with disease. You seem to attract. I'm not crawling back into your head just to ooze right back out again. I promise to take better care of myself, dude. Even if I believe you, and I'm not saying I do... Okay. We still have one significant problem we're facing. What is that? Even if I wanted to settle myself back in your skull and go to all the trouble of reconnecting nerve endings, Dr. Mobius doesn't have the tools here. We would have to make use of Dr. Klein's lab, and I rather doubt the brains are inclined to share. Then let's make them share. And you believe them? Really? Once I'm delivered into their clutches, they'll find a way past the radar fence and the whole Mojave will be their playground. And that is assuming, of course, that one of them doesn't take a fancy to our body and decide to slip his own brain into it instead. Don't you touch my body. 
<laughs> then let's go make them share. Come on, Brain. It's stomping time. Don't seem so bad. They vivisected us just to see what would happen. Have you forgotten the lobotomites? The cyber dogs, I assume you saw those. <laughs> Imagine that kind of science spread across the entire Mojave. Every man, woman, and child we met reduced to a Can't lobotomite. Can't do that. Is that what you want? I mean, no. Let's go make them share. It's stomping time. Oh, lovely. We've reached the mindless violence portion of the program. Tell me, <laughs> what exactly are you, and I use the word loosely, planning? I don't want to hurt them. <laughs> I sort of, I, I kind of sort of thought I'd just like start punching things and see where that gets me. Ever had a squirrel brain omelet? That, but on a bigger scale. And with bombs. I'm going to show them what's really the brightest thing in the room. I'm going to give them a demonstration of the physics behind fall, fast moving small chunks of lead. Um, I don't want to, I don't want to hurt the other brains, honestly. With an attitude like that, it... What is it going to take to convince you, huh? I'd like to find a nice little place to live. Maybe in Good Springs and settle down where we won't get shot at. Won't someone think of the children, says Liz. But since that doesn't seem... I'll handle the brains. You stay here. Mm. If they won't hold up their bargain, we gotta make them. Very well. I suppose I have no choice. Goodbye, peaceful, soothing... Science streamer, gamer hello, boy, hello, says Tasha. Scorpions. Hey, Tasha. I suppose now that we're reunited, you'll want to fill your torso up with those other meaty parts the think tank took from us. Eh. Personally, I think your upgrades are quite a bit better. But now that I'm with you, the Sinks auto dock can plug them back in no problem. Right then, off we go. Clyde will be in for a nasty shock when he realizes the pacification field won't work on a mind and body reunited. Interesting. Did he just jump back in my head? Okay, so we we passed the check, chat. I think... I don't know if that's exactly uh, what I wanted. I don't know if, like, that's what I would have chosen... Uh... Person, like, if I really thought about how to game this out. But, um, you know. I'm gonna become so freaking perceptive. Is it just back in my head now? The brain did just do a little flippy floppy happy dance. So, do I have the brain back in my head? Uh... Spineless strength. <laughs> I guess my condition is... Ugh. Oh, wait. You can do perks, right? Heartless. Uh, spineless. But I have my brain back. What are we going to do tonight? What are we going to do tonight, Brain? Tough. The same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. Dave Breen with the 10. This reminds me of Damnation Alley, a silly 1977 flick. Yeah, this is obviously pulling from a lot of old science fiction stuff. I like it. I, I like this story quite a bit. And like I said, if I was really... If I knew what all those options did, I don't know if I would have been so like that with my own brain. I think I probably would have wanted my brain back. Uh. But, so that's probably the the choice I would have chosen off stream if I, if I think about it. Related to Neil Breen? No, Neil Breen is an insane person. It says Adam Race. Adam. Son of a gun! Look at my hair. Do you think I can spare any bobby pins? Uh, no. No. Alright, let's go back and sell some stuff. 
and confront the brains. The little brain biz. I can put my body back, chat, right now with the auto doctor, but I don't think I want to. Might I be of service, sir? You have no idea. Um, <laughs> Science scrubs. Should probably sell it, but I don't really care. Bam, 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 bam. bam. Keep the empty bottles. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, I don't want to sell that because I don't know what it does. Bam. Except, uh, use my sink to fill up my bottles of water. When you say enjoy your next 24 hours, it sounds much more menacing than have a good day. I know, right? What am I doing? Where am I? Who am I? What world is it? Where am I? Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm lost. Well, hello there. Hey, sweetheart. I can do that. Yes, don't worry. All right. Um, boop, 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 boop. Let's make sure we don't have a, a game, another obsidian fueled game ending spectacle. Doctor Klein awaits. Make sure you're prepared to finish this once and for all. Okay, so this is the final level, or mission rather. Um, we did everything. I mean, I don't need more, more of that. I don't need to talk to all these people, can I? Yeah, it's fine. No, it's fine. We're on stream. We don't need to do everything. That's how I'd usually play, but let's 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 finish this, baby. <laughs> let's finish it up. The lobotomite returns. Yes. Our lobotomite. Is Dr. Mobius been So wait, why am I fighting these guys? Oh, they need Oh, I don't have my brain back yet. I need I gave them the technology and so they need to hold up their end of the bargain and give me the technology to put my brain back, right? Denominated okay. into scrap metal and voice module parts as we hoped. Wait, if the brain is in my head then the pacification field is that So why am I fighting them? Everything! No. A fight? I, I've never been in a fight. What, uh, what, what, what do I... Ah, colleagues, think tank, uh, fight! Yeah, I didn't want to do it that way. I didn't want to do it that way. I didn't want to do it that way. Let's uh, see what the other option is. Keep the augmentations, Kyle. You don't have to. You can talk them down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I watch every single thing Kyle does, but this is my first time on the gaming channel. I've been missing out. Says Cody Naisbit. Welcome, Cody. I see you. All right. Okay. Okay. I recommend watching your tone with me, lobotomite. Now, your brain, hand it over, or we'll extract it again. Wait. So, so why am I fighting them? If I already have the brain in my head, why am I fighting them? What game are you going to play after you're done with this? That's what we're going to vote on before the stream is over. But honestly, why why am I fighting them? CUNY, welcome. And what could we possibly have to speak about? You have the brain, we have the technology. All you must do is surrender. With it, we can finally leave this place. All right, okay. I cannot tell you how boring this place gets, chopping up the landscape and everything in it. And we have so many questions to ask your brain first. About this Mojave place. A fertile testing ground for our experiments. I mean, they did do unspeakable things to you, says Kiha. Hmm. They're too weird to kill. <laughs> 
But isn't my brain already in my... Oh, am I just care... Oh, do I not... Ha am, I, am I just carrying my brain? Is that, is that it? Yes! Wait, you did, didn't you? You are lying! No. Why would you reason with that maniac? He'll destroy us all! Ever thought of doing voice acting, Kyle? Yes. I can't, I can't uh, speech check this. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to kill him, but I don't think we can get past it. Leave your brain, Kyle. You're kind of good either way. Hmm. Hmm. You've got the Wisconsin inflected Rhode Island accent down to a science. Come on, Kyle. Give me your brain. Check your inventory. Yes, you can. You don't really have an alternative that I can see. Doctor Klein, please. Let's see what its insides look like. Finally. Didn't you already Fine. do that? Um, are you sure we've calculated all the combat probabilities here? I mean, the lobotomite confronted Mobius. Plus, you know, we haven't had a C-O-M-B-A-T drill in forever. I don't think we could form a tactical attack triangle if we wanted to. Releasing the W-O-M-B-A-T was not my plan, <laughs> oh. So get off my voice box. Silencing opinionators. We are bigger, smarter, and, and floatier. floatier than you, Lobotomites. <laughs> we don't wish to fight you, so surrender your brain. Yeah, now. I I also thought, yeah, Kia, that's what I'm saying. I thought they already... I guess I have to fight, uh, I have to fight them because I need, they took my brain out in the first place. I don't... I, I, but I, I have no other options. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, they're... They're, uh... I didn't like... Th what? Look at all the quests I just failed. Hmm. Whoa. I didn't... I didn't like that. Hope you are doing well, says Mario Mario. Oh, it's a me. Thanks so much for playing my game. Whoa, woohoo. I didn't like doing that. What's the other way? Hmm. You can... Not really sure if that was unavoidable or not without doing the... the passing the check. I want to let you know that I love you, Kyle. Says PB. PB, will you calm the... Calm down. I mean, I want to finish this, but uh, I also kind of want to feel like I finished it in a way that... Yeah, I do have my brain in my inventory. Okay, so my brain isn't in my head, that's why. You probably have to do all the side quests first. Does it show ones that I failed? Man, I haven't done a lot of quests. Uh, you need speech and medicine at a very high level for peaceful ending. You have to do the other side quests. There's lots to do to appease them and find out about them. When is final boss? I don't... Hmm. Let's see where the... Let's see where this goes. Because I have a... I have an auto right there. Uh, wait. Yeah, I have an auto right there. I mean, a, a save right there. Let's see where this goes, huh? 
<laughs> Intercom. As it had been in the years oh. before the Great War. Oh, we're done. Big Mountain, the Big Empty, became home to one of the brightest minds of the 23rd century. The courier watched over the Big Empty for years to come, caring for it and keeping its discoveries safe until they were needed to help others. Which had always been Big Mountain's purpose. Past the laboratories and science, it had always been intended as a place to build the future of all mankind. The Sync Central Intelligence Unit was impressed by the amount of exploration the courier had undertaken. Facilities believed lost, destroyed, or ones that had simply gotten up and walked to new locations <laughs> had been rediscovered by its intrepid new master. Internally, the artificial personality debated as to whether it preferred the old management to the new, and concluded that the courier's thorough approach to research and investigation was admirable and worthy. Deg of says this is going to be an unsatisfying Dr. ending. I don't know. I'm. Continued his research I'm, I'm pretty good with that first part. As much as he had attempted to create better scorpions, he tried the same with humanity, <laughs> with considerably less success. These failures didn't bother him over much. Ooh, I like the, the word Russia over much. When Tats wore off, he forgot he had failed in any event. After all, the bright young mind who had come to visit him in the Forbidden Zone had already exceeded I wonder if the, the Big Empty inspired by Kyle's endgame plan in life. with the voices of a small town, constantly chirping, arguing, and snarling at each other. Still, this all happened productively in the interests of its new owner. The Sync Central Intelligence Unit discovered, despite its inversion code, it was comforted by the sense of community the other personalities gave it. The biological research station, obsessed with seeding everything in sight, requested a transfer to the X-22 Botanical Garden, so that it might, in its own words, <laughs> sensually fertilize the garden's smooth contours. The garden sent back a polite refusal, saying it had... The Dagwood says, hey, I own the largest Fallout collection in the world, and it's now my room of shame. I'm over 40. Prove it. Materials until it nearly choked on a paper clip. Dagwood, prove it. It adamantly maintained it was a Chinese paper clip. <laughs> and the whole thing had been an elaborately orchestrated assassination attempt. Whatever the reason, it slowed down for a while. This all seems fine. Appraising each document and clipboard this all seems like a good ending to me. The light switches continued to bicker and flicker. This persisted until the day someone dropped a flashlight in the sink, and the two of them united in their hatred of <laughs> the showboat. One look, of them eventually look at her with her big flashlights. Plant ...and began a long, unrequited affair with one of the holograms. This is a long end. The scene continued to ruthlessly scrub any particulate matter that came near it. Eventually, it gained access... Deg says, this is a much better ending. Never mind, I must have done worse. ...and all the big empty in an attempt to scrub the crater clean. Once it learned of the innovative toxins plant, however... Told you. Gained new purpose. I did almost all of the other side quests, which were very long. To flush into its drains and counteract the poisons bleeding into the soil. The toaster continued its psychotic spree, <laughs> reducing all appliances in range to scrap electronics and spare parts. After one of its more psychotic. Dagwood, do you just watch anything Fallout related then? Personalities decided enough was enough, and dumped the toaster in a bathtub. <laughs> Sparking and hissing, the toaster swore its enemies would rue the day when they had bread and no way to toast it. <laughs> did his best to collect coffee cups, although in his quest, he accidentally trapped himself in Higgs Village. It might have been the end for poor Mummy, except he found it peaceful there. Tidying up the kitchens of the think tank professors back when they had been flesh and bone. Well, Kyle's laugh sounds like a goblin. Only when I'm having fun. Who was an asshole for having created Muggy in the first place. I know how I feel, Muggy buddy. Muggy left O's house deliberately dirty 
punishing the dishes and cups that live there in blind revenge for serving Dr. O. Blind O. Jefferson with sounds the Corey brought him created oh, a baby, 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 baby. Save Big Mountain from Sonic Invasion in 2019. Oh. If you didn't hear about it, good. good. <laughs> it was rumored by the other personalities that he had a brief fling with the light switches. Everyone calm down. It was a brief fling. Although he forgot their names much too often and was soon left in the dark as punishment. Autodoc, always Jeez. methodical. Kept sewing up the courier in all the right places when the skin split open from repeated wear and tear. Gross. The Autodoc was just glad to have purpose again. It heard it's oh, it three dog, huh? No, it's not. Who got shipped is it? to the Sierra Madre, bored out of their skulls in that toxic dead city. In time, the Autodoc found a way to deactivate the Y-17 trauma harnesses, releasing the corpses they had held prisoner for almost 200 years. Actually, a cool sci-fi story As about the that. The courier ran through the X-8 facility multiple times. The computers analyzed the test subjects' movements. Jeez. Rather than performing a super so long observation, they realized the subject barely knew what communism was. Liquid Flame says, What happens if I push the buttons that are underneath Kyle's camera? Oh, you mean this these? Confused them for Don't do that. Until the facility finally realized that its research had succeeded. Oh. So it let its cyber dogs out into the wastes to help protect small communities from physical aggression rather than communist propaganda seems good the infiltration oh my god do we have to go through each building expense, having repeatedly upgraded the stealth suit until it could upgrade it no more it felt warm fulfilled <laughs> and a bit sluggish <laughs> it realized not long after the stealth suit had left it without so much as a note on the nightstand so the infiltration program sent out robo brains into the wastes looking for its wayward technology. It eventually found Repcon HQ and set up a new research center, testing and murdering fiends who kept breaking into the facility. It all seems all right. Victoria, all gins intact, continued onwards, a little less heavy of step, but with all the organs in the right places. That's not true, I didn't. They should be. After all, brains can develop a life of their own when left to their own thoughts. And the couriers I didn't get my organs back. More clever than most. The think tank basement filled with the lobotomized robotical frames of the doctors now served as a graveyard. Now this might be the bad part. The monitors had recorded the battle in its entirety, including the think tank's final shrill, terrified screams, whimpers, and pleas for mercy. They broadcast these humiliating last moments as a warning to anyone approaching the perimeter that other smarty pants were not welcome. <laughs> the courier was the inheritor of the big empty, and there was room for only one will in the halls of the think tank dome. <laughs> there is an expression in the wasteland, old world blues. It refers to those so obsessed with the past they can't see the, the present, present much, much less, less the future, future for, for what, what it is. is. They stare into the what was, eyes like pilot lights, guttering and spent, as the realities of their world continue on around them. That's a good sentence. Science is a long, steady progression into the future. What may seem a sudden event often isn't felt for years, even centuries to come. In the times following the Second Battle of Hoover Dam, however, Old World Blues took on a new meaning. Where once it was viewed as a form of sadness, nostalgia, it became an expression describing the potential for the future. It can be easy to see science as evil, technology unchecked as the source of all ills, all misfortunes. With the courier at the helm, science became a beacon for the future. Yes! There was Old World Blues. Yes! And New World Hope. Yes. And hope ruled the day at Big Mountain. Yes. We could say more, but the stories in the Big Empty speak for themselves. Yes. Now armed with the transportal ponder, 
The courier could return to the dome at any time and crack open the secrets of the big empty one by one. That did sound like Dr. Venture. The huh? sink sat vigilant, waiting for its master to return. Shoes covered in Mojave dust. Only one road yet remained. And it was one the courier had to walk alone. Chat, that was one of the longest endings to any video game in the history, or any DLC in the history of mankind. Uh, we have a, but I had a fun time. They really went above and beyond with this DLC. Uh, I, that was one of my favorite uh, Fallout DLCs, easy. Um, fantastic writing, really funny, um, cool new weapons and items. I liked it a lot. Um, if you liked it in the chat, put a, a energy weapon style lightning bolt emoji, spam it in the chat. I want to hear from you. The next thing, we're not done quite yet. The next thing I want to do is the next thing that we're going to do here at the facility, the gaming center. Let's see what your, uh, let's see, let's see what our next adventure is. Who even enjoyed that loot bug, says Captain Dagon. I lost my mind a little bit. I did. I, uh, I swore. I'm sorry. I knew I wasn't, I know I'm not supposed to do that yet. So, uh, I have a list that I came up with, um, I've had for a while. But I have a list, and, uh, that's not it. And we are going to... So how many games, so how many poll things can I put on here? I'm going to make a poll in the chat. And we are going to vote on it for a few minutes. While I talk to you. What game should we play next? Question mark. How many options can I add? Let's do. Okay, there's only, I can only do four. Okay, so let's choose a choice four that I want to play. Um, let's see. Let's go. Dude. And then, hmm. these are gonna. It's gonna. This is gonna be a difficult one. It's gonna be a difficult one, Chad. Um. Hmm. I want to get some good. Uh, good variety in here. See. Or maybe we can put some up against each other, but I want to, so I know there's a lot of, um, I know there's a lot of smaller, like in indie games, smaller games that may, I may uh, get passed by, uh, or I might pass by rather, but I want to, as we do scientist plays and all, as the gaming channel grows, I think we should start with some giant games that we've never played, um, that everyone likes. Um, hmm, that's, ah, that, feel, that feels like that would freaking take forever. Um, not this one, though. Let's try that. Oh, these, are, this is gonna, chat, this is gonna be hard. This is gonna be a hard one, because these are all, these are all good, and some of them we could play in just a couple of sessions or one session. Um, hmm. Hmm. Let me just make sure what this last one is. I mean, these are all pretty damn good. Okay, let's try this. Uh, what's the na what's the name of that? Uh, what's the name of that? The most the latest version of this game. When that when the hell did that come out? When it come out. 2011. What's the next? Oh, it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Chat. Let's see. This is a big one. Hmm. 
And it's appearing weird on my screen, but... God of War would be a good one. Not the most science-y game in the world. Dead Space just shell melt. Uh, shell, we actually played Dead Space um, three or four times on Twitch, and those VODs will be soon uploaded, uh, slightly edited, to the gaming channel. So the games that we've already done that you haven't that you haven't seen yet, um, we played all the way through Half-Life 2, um, Dead Space we played through, and I think one other game that I'm I'm forgetting right now. But don't worry, those will be going up on the gaming channel as VOD, so you won't miss that if you missed it. Sorry, there's a big freaking tangle in there. Uh, you won't miss that if you missed it on Twitch. So I'm going to give this uh, a couple minutes, just so everyone can vote. Only 87 votes. Um, how many of you are watching? 300 of you are watching, so I want everyone... Chris Brault says, Marquette! Yes, I went to Marquette. Uh, Human Revolution's better than Mankind Divided, says Hobo Sam. Yeah, I know, I just wanted to play the newest one. Horizon? Horizon's very science-y? Uh, Last of Us Part 1 remake? Ugh, I know, I, there's so many good games. I don't actually want to play Last of Us on stream. Um, because if you've never played it, you'll, you should play it yourself. It's one of my favorite games ever. Uh, Horizon, yeah, should I do... I, I just beat Horizon Forbidden West. I could do that. So... Hmm. How about... Did I miss Fallout New Vegas' as Paranix? Yes, we've, we finished the DLC, and that will go back up. Um, so maybe... Hmm. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do, Chip. So, out of these, pick the one you want to see most. We will then do another four. Whichever wins that one, we'll put it head-to-head. -head. Okay? So I'm going to close this in two minutes. Any Batman games? Oh. Is Arkham Knight on PC? I freaking love Arkham Knight. I I've played through it a bunch. Uh. Hmm. Oh, but uh, Horizon's not on PC. Right? Eventually, we get to we'll get to all of them. Why not all of them? Says Nicky Gonzalez. Because this takes me months to do just one game. And close this in two minutes here. Horizon's not on PC, right? Or is the original Horizon on PC? The original Horizon. Yeah, okay. Because we could do that. Zero Dawn. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Outer Worlds. I have Outer Worlds and Outer Wilds on my Steam account. Um, okay. 60 seconds, we'll close this one, then we're going to do another one head-to-head. -head. Let's see. Kyle, love the show, and everything says Steve Hosp. Steve, welcome. I'm about to beat the first one on PC, says Siv Jackal. It's going to look great on my PC, too. On the, the Basil, I mean my PC. Outer Wilds? I'm writing stuff. I think I have some of that listed, but... Too many games, too little time. Remember, we can get to some of the ones that aren't winning. All right, so it looks like with 38% of the vote, we have Portal 1. All-time classic, easily one of the best sci-fi games ever made. Only 100, only half of you voted. Fallout 76? No. So, the next, what will fall out, uh, would love to see you play some Witness. Love the channel, says Aaron Folk. Uh... That one's really good. I think we should still stick with some of the larger games um, for now. Man, Doom got the least? Oh, that'd be so fun. Anyway, okay, so. this Now remember, Portal will go head to... So don't worry about what Portal is. What, uh, how that plays. We're going to do the next four, which I think is going to be this. Not. Rising is done. Love driving the Batmobile, man. Let's see. Which ones did I leave out the first time? Um, oh, I mean, these ones can come back. I want to play Titanfall 2 because it is really sciencey and cool on the Strem. Um, I 
Hmm. Which one's the... I'm gonna open up my Steam account. Hopefully it doesn't blow anything up here. But which is the game... Control? Yeah. That's on there. Um... Assassin's Creed. Only kind of sciencey sometimes. Uh, which is the one that I have? Yeah, I hear this one. I hear this game is quite sciencey, huh? Um, okay. And let's do this. This <laughs> this is another uh, this is another hard one. All right, chat. Boop. Give it four minutes or so. Talk about good voice acting. Arkham Knight. Whew. Hard to beat. Prey. Portal 2. Well, we just voted on Aaron. We just voted on Portal 1. Killzone was fun. Oh, that's an old one. Killzone 2? I played that with my brother on... Um, Whatever the hell it was on. Danny with the CRC 10,000. Not a game, but the band Helium Prime does a Helium Prime does a bunch of sciencey metal. They got a great song called Photo 51. I'll check it out. Metal Gear. Oh shit, that would be a good choice too. Sorry. Actually. Hmm. Hmm. Metal Gear Solid 3, maybe. Metal Gear. If I wasn't a diehard Wilder, I would love some Zero Dawn. Don't know any of these games other than Arkham Knight. One of the best series ever. That's $14. Any amount is more than enough. Trust me. We at their facility, we want for not except education and knowledge. And knowledge is power, as you know this. Utter Wilds is definitely the most sciencey one of the list. I hear a lot of uh, good sciencey things about it. Zero Dawn is also incredibly sciencey. We'd have a lot of stuff to talk about in Zero Dawn, which is currently in the lead. Give it another uh, two minutes. Death Stranding, I will n Liquid. I will never play Death Stranding again. And don't get me started. Don't get me started. <laughs> Don't get me started on, uh, don't get me started on it. All I'll say about Death Stranding, it is the worst AAA game I've ever played in my life. It's not amazing. No, it's not amazing. The gameplay is terrible. Twitch Prime giving out Mass Effect Legendary Edition. We didn't play Mass Effect 2, one of my favorite games ever. Could do that. What's your beef with Death Stranding? Don't get... I don't want to get into it. I'm going to start saying mean things. All right. I think you got... Oh, wow. I thought you got worked up over Cyberpunk. I think Death Stranding wins. Cyberpunk... Um, Cyberpunk, I don't get as mad about. Okay, so, what should we play next with 33% of the vote? Half of you, only half of you voting. What are you, crazy? We have HZD. You know what, this is kind of useful. Now, chat, I'm going to get a quick impression for you. Because, uh, as we keep, <laughs> we keep saying great games uh should we do this one more time should we do an another selection one more time so we can have a top three and we can see what we do out of the three would you want that should we do one more with the rest of the games that i have on the list one more time one more oh don't get claimed baby all right, everyone wants it. Everyone wants it. Easy. 
Easy. Okay. Mass. Um, note that that is a different video game than that. What other did I miss? Uh, missed. Uh, dum dum dum. Uh, ooh, this one is a smaller one, but I did want to check it out. That and um, Hades Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> not. Not, not, uh, maybe some of the least science-y, uh, things. Well, you could talk about, like, real stuff in Red Dead 2. But Red Dead 2 is another game with such a strong story that I wouldn't want to do it for, like, an audience. Do you know what I mean? I I'd rather experience it. The first time I played, I've only played through it once, but I cried, like, three times at the end. When some of those songs kick in at the re end of Red Dead Redemption 2, man. Oh kicks you right in the gut. It's amazing. Um, sorry. Uh, let me focus. Um, that, that, that. And the last one will be, for this poll, the, um, I'm gonna get to your comments just a second, just a second, just a second, just a second, just a second. Oh, I got one. Well, did we already we already did that, but let's do this. Okay. Keyboard soul tippy tappy. Okie dokie. Um Pulls up chat. Let's give it three, four minutes. Vote. Red Dead Redemption 2? No. Now do I vote for Portal or HCD in the finals? Says Michael Raymond. Michael, that's up to you. Factorio? Yeah. Hey Kyle, I just watched your office hours about the Webby. And I want to say great stream. Wish I could have got it live. Maybe next team. Next team? Says Snarno Brand. Snow no. Yes, next time. That, that stream felt pretty good. Infamous? Ah, frick. I forgot about that. I should add that to the list, though. I do... It, I've, uh... I've a hundred percent... Um, I've a hundred percented every Infamous game. That's how much I like them. There's biology and dinosaurs in Red Dead. Uh, dinosaurs? One of the best stories in a game I've ever experienced for Red Dead. Yeah, I know. But super long and kind of slow. Not not the best streaming game. Wow, right now, Outer Worlds beating Mass Effect 2. I did not expect that. Did not expect that. We'll vote for another minute or so. Get your votes in now. Tiny Tina's Wonderland. I have uh, Borderlands 2 on the list as well. Because I love Borderlands 2. <laughs> and I won't, I won't, uh, I won't burden you with Borderlands the pre-sequel, which is set on the moon, but everyone on the moon's Australian, and I would be doing Australian the whole time, and you would have, uh, all of you would suffer. I'd play Metal Gear, I have to, I have to remember, I'd play uh, Metal Gear Solid 3. 4 is story garbage and five is misogynistic weird story garbage outer worlds or outer wilds now outer worlds is the game that's made by the same people who make who made fallout new vegas but it's in space okay Outer Wilds is a smaller indie game, indie game that has a lot of sciencey stuff in it, and then I hear fantastic things about it. Um, did you do uh, Ghost of Tsushima, Kyle, or am I thinking about Sekiro? You're thinking about Sekiro. Haven't played Ghosts. I 100%ed Ghost of Tsushima and played the DLC. It's great. Okay, I think. I don't think actually uh, Infamous will hold up. Well, I mean the new one. Would be cool to bring in some facility staff if you play Borderlands. Not a 
bad idea. Reluctant skeptic. Oh, can I change my vote? No. So, I am very surprised, chat. I'm very surprised. We have... Outer Worlds. Beating Mass Effect 2. And now, the final poll. I, what did I just do? <laughs> and pull. Um, I don't want to live on this world anymore, says Kiha. Um, do I have enough for a final final? Like a, a final final pull? Because <laughs> some other people... I was writing down everything else y'all said. <laughs> Everyone shut up. You want another poll? Oh my god. What was what was another one you said? Uh Metal Gear. Is Metal Gear even on PC? I mean Metal Gear Solid 3 probably is, right? Um Everyone wants another Everyone wants Nick, don't don't encourage them. Um I hate Borderlands 2. It did my boy Mordecai and Bloodwing dirty. It says mayonnaise. No, it didn't. That was a good emotional point for the game. That was fine. Um. <laughs> okay. Uh. Yeah, I, I'm also shocked. We love dem we love we love democracy. Um. Can we do a poll to see if we want another poll? No. Okay, yep, yeah, this is the last. This one would be hard to do, sciencey wise, but not as hard as you think. Uh, but it is one of the games that I've played the most out of any game ever. And I'm one of the only people that I know that has 100%ed that game uh, completely, plus 100%ed all the DLC. So here's our last poll, and then we have a 4v4 finals. Okay, you guys having a good time? This is kind of fun, doing little polls. Okay, so we have... We have that. We have... Oh, frick! Ah, oh. This is, this is going to be... This is a stacked one, chat. This one is stacked. one is stacked here we go bam let's give it and this is this will bring us right we'll end the stream with the finals this is a heart we got some big boys in this one ftl that's a good one I'm having a great time don't get to do much else lately so this interaction is great i love interacting with you especially this is a small, obviously a smaller stream than we have um, on office hour, so it's nice. I get to see pretty much, I see, I, I notice and I see all the regulars, I see your comments. Um, as Crafty's putting in the chat, if you want to join the Discord, we do this kind of thing, or we can do this kind of thing every gosh dang day. The Witcher is not scientific, says Watcher. Uh, the Witcher is hard fantasy. And if you followed me over at Because Science, I have made science videos about The Witcher. Um, uh, silver Swords, Witcher Potions, Seeing in the Dark, Breathing Underwater. There's more stuff than you'd think. And um, what's the difference between in uh, the $6 and the $10 tier on Patreon, Kyle? Oh, you Both of those, you get the Discord. But for the ten dollar tier, you are you are uh, your name is at the end of every single video. Hi, I'm new here. Says Matt F. Let's get some F's for Matt in the chat. The real ones come here. Says Age Templar, who's probably a total weirdo. Can we vote for Witcher in costume? Says Nick. I will do. If the Witcher wins, I will do a little bit. Maybe I'll do the voice and I'll tie the hair back. I'll, I'll do the hair and I'll, I'll put a thing and I'll do it like that. 
I might be able to change the filter on the facility's uh, security system here so I look like more white. I kind of miss because science is active sloth. It's going to be another magic tournament in the Discord. I have to. Winds howling. Okay. Uh, let's see if this is even close and see if we can end it or not. Ooh, that was kind of close, but <laughs> surprising me, we have The Witcher 3 with 38% of the vote. Now, for the end. If you do it in costume, I want to change my vote for that. Mm, wind's howling. How you like that silver? Damn, you're ugly. <laughs> Final round. Which, why are you capitalizing should? I don't know. I think I just skewed the poll, says Nick Lynn. <laughs> I was going to say something suggestive, Nick. <laughs> I think you've skewed a lot of polls, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean. What should we play next? Let's see. In order, so I'm not showing any preference. Sounds like Snake. Well, yeah, The Witcher sounds like Solid Snake, but Solid Snake is different. Solid Snake's like, Witcher's like, uh, wind's howling. Damn, you're ugly. And Snake is like, uh, mm, tastes good. Lolly Lule Low. Nano Machines. Like that. It's more, it's more like, eh, more hard boiled. This is. A veritable all-star list of games. This is going to be difficult, but chat, it is all up to you. Is it the outer? It's all up to you. Whatever you vote on, we will play next. Oh, it is that. Okay, let me just get that. Correct. Yep. Yep. In order that we voted, so I'm not showing any preference with the order of questions. Which, hey, science fact, before the end of the stream, I have a master's degree in social, well, social science statistics kind of stuff and science communication. The order of which, the order in which you put answers in a, a poll does affect the poll's outcome. And so you have to randomize question ordering in a large enough poll if you want it to be truly uh, representative of the public. Look at that. We're done with gaming and we're still learning. You're welcome. It's the last one. Okay. Let's do it. Final round. Let's see. Let's see. We have Portal. Number one, Horizon Zero Dawn, The Outer Worlds, which is a which is a dark horse, dark horse in here, or The Witcher Three, Wild Hunt. Get your votes in now. The Outer Worlds taking an early lead. I think we may have some Outer Worlds simps here in the chat. But I guess that just means that if I play it, you'll come watch it, huh? Interesting. Let's give this uh, let's give this a five, a five minuter. Liquid Flames in the chat com campaigning. Nick also campaigning to throw a coin to me. Liquid wants Horizon. Panthers Fly wants Horizon. No, don't vote for space capitalism. Fallout New Vegas bring out the Obsidian fans. I guess so. I mean, I guess, yeah, I am self-selecting, right? If I'm, this is another polling thing, statistic science. I'm framing, I'm, I'm, I've self-selected the population to be people who like Obsidian and then asking if they should play, in, if I should play an Obsidian game. This is rigged. So rigged. Throw a vote to your Witcher. Can we, it's because we're playing Fallout in here. This is Joaquin Gago. It's not the best choice. It's a spacer's choice. Come on, vote for Witcher Kyle. Curious how many people vote based on what they've played or know. I will say, uh, I've, I haven't played uh, The Outer Worlds. I haven't played it. I've played all the other games. <laughs> Feel like people might be uh, Witcher 3, come on, it's rigged. It's rigged from the start. 
It's rigged indeed, because I voted for Outer Worlds. I guess I did accidentally rig it, huh? Did I miss the Fallout Gaming says 6-7? You did, but go ahead and just rewind that. You'll get it. Two more minutes. And then... Come on, every, everyone chant, HCD, HCD. You don't seem to feel comfortable streaming a game you haven't played before. Yeah, I'm fine with it. I don't think I played Sekiro before streaming it. And that game's, a, you know, hard. Kyle voted. So too shall I. This is Cheryl. I didn't vote for it. People don't want to watch Kyle make endlessly make funny voices. Playing The Witcher. I thought Gladys would reign supreme. You haven't played any of them. Oh, I haven't played any of them except for Portal, and it was years ago. I want to see try Kyle try to science The Witcher, because it'll be hard. No one has mentioned Elden Ring. I've already played Elden Ring. I didn't... Uh, I didn't... Yeah. I don't I, I don't want to keep playing it so much. All this we're experiencing is still just part of Fallout New Vegas. Yes, this is part of the DLC. I show up, and I ask you... What the hell's going on? Would be cool to watch you play Horizon. I've never played it. I wanted Horizon real bad. Your brain is hallucinating. One minute! Get the vote in! If you're just sitting there in chat and you haven't liked the video and you haven't participated in this democracy, what are you doing? Get out there. Be heard. Why no Kerbal? Because I think it will be boring. Um, I think it will probably be boring to watch. Okay. Let's go to the poll. Let's see. Chat. As you see, with 32% of the vote, a game that I did not expect to beat Horizon and The Witcher or Portal. The Outer Worlds has won. Now, is that what the general public would want me to play? Probably not, because there's only 300 of you here. Statistically, you need, like, uh, over a thousand people to be representative of an infinitely sized population. Um, but, The Outer Worlds has won. I've never played it. It looked alright. I think it got, like, an 8 on IGN or something like that. It's gonna be Fallout New vegas -y, which I guess will help when I'm going back into it. So there we have it. Retire this, this little interstitial that Kevin's have came up with. And uh, all of you Obsidian simps, hey, we, hey, Outer Worlds got, got there. It, it made it through a couple rounds, but the Frank, but do the Frank voice. Mm, yes, very pretty, pretty. Chat, I've been streaming for four hours. I woke up, got out of bed, dragged a comb across my head. It's not true. Had a call with YouTube. Worked on a new Half-Life history. Met with a streamer, a legendary streamer, for coffee. Had one of our best office hours in terms of people there in a long time. And then one of our best gaming sessions here in terms of people in a long time. I've had a decent day. I'm happy you could join me for it. I'm happy if... You got anything from these streams, if you learned anything, if you had any fun. Hey, remember when I lost my mind beatboxing to a, a voice loop and then I swore? That was fun. If you enjoy this fun, please like the video, subscribe to the gaming channel. We'll be putting up all the VODs from everything that we do here and past VODs that you missed out on. Like uh, our Dead Space videos, a full playthrough of, of Half-Life 2. Those are all coming down the pipe or pike. I don't know what language is. If you want to check out what we do for our day job, go to the main channel. We have new videos up every single week. This week, the science of speed running, where I was at GDQ. You can go to patreon.com slash Kyle Hill to join the Patreon, get videos early, get behind the scenes photos and bloopers. Join the members only Discord, get private members only live stream, get your name on Aria each and every single week. She's fine with it. I asked her. I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of your night. Wherever it is, I see you next time across the, the vast plane of possibilities that is the facility and related content. <laughs> Careful there. <laughs> content.
wherever it is I see you next time, I hope that until then you have a fantastic rest of your waking existence. Because when you're asleep, you're pretty much just dead. And until then, be nice to each other. Because <laughs> this is all we got.